Hello, how's everybody? I would like to share some thoughts on this pandemic that doesn't want to go away. This coronavirus, the Wuhan flu. I'm calling this video coronavirus designer virus. I'll explain that in a minute. Mankind suffers from various sicknesses, diseases, and infirmities because of our fallen state. We also bring upon ourselves sicknesses by not taking care of ourselves. We also inherit diseases through our bloodline. Viruses are part of our fallen state, or are they? This is something that I read about viruses. A virus does not have as its origin a life form of its own. It takes the code of a living organism and uses the genetic material of the living organism to produce its own genetic form. It also seems a virus has an intelligence behind it that defies imagination. It is an invisible being that binds itself to the human flesh and tissue. You can't kill it, you can't destroy it, but you can divert it. Now. Why do I call it a designer virus? Science today is into a lot of research that is not being reported. So was this virus designed to do certain things a so-called designer virus? It is said that the coronavirus was developed in, in Wuhan, China, where it escaped from the laboratory, ended up in a bat, which ended up in an open market. Someone bought the bat, cooked the bat, and ate the bat, and contracted the virus. Amazing. At the time this happened, it was I believe the Chinese New Year and many Chinese people who were living in other parts of the world came to China to celebrate the Chinese New Year. It is also said that at that time the 5G network went into use there in China. It has been reported that the 5G network causes certain people to display symptoms similar to the coronavirus. Those people who showed these symptoms were told that they had contracted a virus but they had a vaccine for this virus telling them that it would help them to recover from the virus when in actuality they were given the virus so they can spread it. Was this virus designed as a population control virus? Because it seems to target people 60 and over and if that person has any underlying medical issues it usually is fatal. Why is it targeting older people? It is because they're vulnerable. Maybe they're not productive anymore. They're receiving retirement benefits, too many medical issues, or maybe they just outlive their usefulness, according to some people. For the most part, it doesn't hit the kids like it does the adults. Some children, they say, develop some different reactions to the virus, which at this time they don't know why. This is something that came to mind. Was this virus designed to exclude the young men and women? Also, why? Because they will be needed. They are the next generation workforce, and you can't lose them. Who would do the work? Was this virus also designed to target black and brown people? usually with fatal results. This virus also attacks more men than women. Women, when is, is infected with the virus, same as a male, the male usually dies and the woman recovers. Just another weird thing this virus does. I've also heard that this virus is not a virus, but a bacteria that causes the blood to clot, stopping the flow of oxygen to the body, causing death. Also, that the bacterium is also amplified by 5G electro magnetic radiation which is also produces inflammation and hypoxia which is an inadequate supply of oxygen to the body. To combat this bacteria in Italy where they discovered that by giving the patient 100 milligrams of aspirin plus with a prosonex and paracetamol they quickly started to recover. If this is true why hasn't it been reported by the major news media? Something that I also heard that has not been widely heard is that the virus was not developed in China but elsewhere then snuck into China. Was this designed in retaliation against the U.S. in order to cause an economic collapse to help in removing President Trump from office? When they develop a vaccine against the coronavirus will their vaccine have a release mechanism that kicks in at a certain age or when the disease develops in order to aggravate the disease and hasten death? Will it target certain people of of uh, black people, brown people, the elderly, or people with disabilities? So the question is, do we take the vaccine or not, or will it become mandatory? This is the question. Thank you for your time. God keep us and protect us. Amen. <laughs>